Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. If you are new to my channel, I want to welcome you. So glad you came over. My name is Teresa. Today's video is going to be a fun one because this is going to be in collaboration with my two good friends, Sherry over at Canterbury Cottage and Julie at Julie's Designs and Signs. So I'm going to have links to their channels down below in my description box so y'all make sure after you watch my video to go over and watch their videos because all together we're going to bring y'all 30 easy to find thrift store items and we're going to show y'all 30 different ways of how you can upcycle them and you can stage them and style them in your home. So I hope y'all enjoy the video and as always I hope y'all get lots of inspiration and ideas for your home. Okay, the first item that we're going to talk about is kitchen utensils. Now, this is something that you can find a lot of times at thrift stores and yard sales. This is a vintage um, potato masher. It's got very good patina. It's got some chippy paint on it. It's got some rust. And also, I love cheese graters. This cheese grater's also got great patina. Now, I get a lot of questions a lot of times about where I got that bird magnet. I have some like this linked in my Amazon store. So go out and check it out if you want some little bird magnets. But just add a little magnet to your cheese grater. You know, attach your favorite recipe. Maybe it's a coconut cake or something. You know, something maybe it's a family tradition for an Easter dinner or lunch. And then just put a little nest in your little potato masher. And just cute little ideas that you can decorate with your kitchen utensils. Okay, the next item that you can find a lot of times at thrift stores and you can get these really cheap at the library is old books. Now, if you don't have old books, I'm going to give you an idea of how you can kind of decorate, a, you know, any kind of book and you can get books at Dollar Tree. Now, I purchased this at Goodwill for $4.99 and it's actually a drawer, but it came with all of this hardware. So, this hardware alone was worth $4.99. So I'm going to take a few pieces of this hardware and I'm going to take some books. Now the hardware that I'm using, you're going to want to use some that's got like a long screw back because what we're going to do is we're going to take our books and we're going to drill holes in the center of the front and we're going to make like some book hangers. And to make the book hangers, it's going to be really easy. But you want to drill a hole in the middle of your book, but you don't want to go all the way through your book but just long enough to where you can screw in your hardware and, you know, and attach it as a hanger. Now, if your book has covers on them, jackets, you want to remove those. Now, we, we are using a drill bit. It's just a little bit smaller than the back of the screw. That way, it'll have a very tight connection once we, uh, you know, screw it in the book. And that's all you do. You just drill your hole in the center and then screw in your, your hardware. Now, Hobby Lobby a lot of times has some really pretty hardware and they'll have it half off every other week. And that is a piece that comes from Hobby Lobby. So just take various books. You can do paperback books. You can do hardback books, you know, and take them, you know, whatever the color that you want. And also if you've got old cookbooks, this would make a great a conversation piece for your kitchen. If you had an old cookbook, add a hanger to the front of it. You can hang like a tea towel or something on it. Just another unique decor piece for your home. Now this book is just a small book and I just covered it with a piece of a, a download printable that I got, but you can use scrapbook paper, whatever you have. And I just mod podged it on or put some spray adhesive on it and just put it around my book. And that's all I did for that. And we drilled a hole in it and we put a hanger on it. Now I'm just going to style these for you and just give you some ideas and inspiration on how you can decorate them once you get them made. And I also want to add here, you can hang your books vertical or horizontal and just add get get creative with your hangers that one i just put some twine up under the back jacket and didn't use any hot glue at all at all i just tied it on a couple of the books i did on the back take some hot glue and i hung on some hangers on those just use some scrap flower sack cloth and make very inexpensive hangers for the back
Now the next piece is something that you can find at thrift stores and yard sales too, and of course that's wood items. You know, anything wood, and I've told y'all in previous videos, when you can find a real wood piece, a lot of times those will paint and distress really well. Now, I think I paid $3.99 for this. I think this is probably homemade. It's got a little metal handle, and that little divider in the middle of it, it actually, it comes out. So, I'm actually going to take that out, and all I'm going to do to this is I'm going to chalk paint it with a couple of... Um, coats of country chic chalk paint and i'll have a link to where you can order it if you would like some of this paint it's a very good alternative to rust-oleum chalk paint it goes on very smooth and it distresses very well too now i'm just going to add some french wording to the front and this is from the brocant iod transfer book but i'm y'all know i just use scraps of my transfers so I'm just going to take some French wording and I'm going to apply it to the top and to the little bottom slats. And on the side, on one of the sides, I'm going to add a really pretty rose and a little green stem to it. And those um, transfers will be linked in my Amazon store. And that's all I do to this little wood crate. And then after I get it finished, all I'm going to do is I'm going to just add different pieces to it. I'm going to add a vintage clock and, you know, some bottles and some florals to it. And actually, I'll put a bow on it. So this actually made a really cute piece that I can set up and display it in so many ways. Now, another popular item that you can find all day long at thrift stores and yard sales is glass jars and vases. So many things you can do with these pieces. This is an apothecary jar. I've already purchased one that I displayed at Valentine's, but my Goodwill had another. Well, they actually had two of them, and I bought both of them for $1.99. So many things you can do with apothecary jars. I'm not gonna paint this. I'm not gonna put a transfer on it because I just did a video not too long ago of how I upcycled some glass vases with using transfers. This jar, I'm just gonna leave it as is, but I'm gonna just give you some decorating ideas of how you can stuff, you know, some little Easter decor in it, some little florals, a little birdhouse, your eggs. You could even, you know, display this with you know, decorative candies in it. So the sky's the limit on apothecary jars. Okay, and here's another vase I scored. Make sure to go to Goodwill at least once a week because I went back, y'all. This is a Z Gallery base, and I'm not sure if y'all are familiar with the brand Z Gallery. I have never bought anything that brand, but it's a very expensive brand. There's a 1995 sticker on it, but some of their vases will run up into the hundreds of dollars. <laughs> so I was excited to find this at Goodwill for $3.99. It's actually about 17 inches tall, so very tall. I just stuck a very large, tall, big flower in it. I got that at Ross on clearance last year, and I think this is absolutely beautiful. And I love the little green bluish color that it puts off for spring and summer. So this is another great piece. So always keep your eyes open at the thrift stores and yard sales for all kinds of glass vases and jars. Okay, clocks. Y'all, you can find clocks all day long at the thrift store and a lot of times at yard sales. And I picked this one up last year at a yard sale and I paid $3 for it. It's been in my storage building, but I could not wait to bring it out and upcycle it so this was a great challenge for me to get this out and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take all the parts out of the the wire rim 
and I'm going to just spray paint those. I took the glass out, I cleaned it really well, and all of the back was, was just, it just screwed on. So once I got it all painted, my pieces, I just put it all back together and put the screws back in it. And I just want to show you, you know, even if you don't want to hang this on a wall, you can set this up on a table and make a really pretty, you know, vignette of clocks. These little vintage clocks in the front, I got those last year at a big yard sale, and I think I paid $2 for a whole little box of them, and they were awesome. So just another really inexpensive item to look for when you're out thrifting or you're at yard sales this spring and summer. Another really popular item at thrift stores and yard sales is going to be bacon pans. Now bacon pans can run anywhere from a quarter you know, they're not expensive at all. And that one, I found it Goodwill and I paid 99 cents for it. Now, it's actually vintage. And I love those little um, those little handles on the sides. So, I'm going to put a transfer on it. And this one also comes from the Brocant IOD transfer book. I'm just going to add a transfer to the front of it. And then over on the side, I'm going to add another one of my rose transfers. Now, the rose transfers are linked to my Amazon store. So I'm just going to apply it. I'll add like a little green stem to it. And there's so many things that you can decorate and do a little bunt pans. So I'm going to give you some ideas of, you know, things that you can do to style it in your home. And, and I didn't mention, all I did was I took it outside and I spray painted it with a couple of coats of Rust-Oleum spray paint. But now you can display your little vintage silverware, your teacups, you know, get some pretty plates, you know, put your Easter decor in it. You can put carrots in it. So many things you can put in your little bunt pans. And it just makes such a unique little decorative item for your home. Hey, this is probably my favorite item to be found at thrift stores or yard sales, and that is frames. Now, if y'all watch my channel at all, y'all know I've probably got a frame in every video I've ever done, but I love upcycling frames because there's such an affordable way to make your own home decor and it's fun. So, you know, I always cut, I always keep Dollar Tree foam board on hand. You cut it the size of your frame and this frame was so pretty, I am not gonna paint it. These rabbits will be linked to my Amazon store, but y'all, these are awesome. I love these. They're like sticker decals, but you remove that adhesive right there, and you just want to discard it, and then you are left with these little sticker decals on this white backing. Now, you just kind of want to get an idea of where you want to place it, because once you put it down, you kind of want to you want to go with it. It is forgiving to where you can lift it up if you want to, if you don't, but adhere it in sections. And that's what I did. I kind of went kind of slow with it with my scraper and just kept my white backing on as much of it as I could and scraped my way up. Now, once you get it all scraped down and you get it, get most of the wrinkles out, if you have any bubbles at all in these little stickers, Take a straight pen, stick it in the bubble, and then just smooth it out with your little scraper. And that'll remove, you know, your wrinkles and your bubbles. This right here, y'all, I love these little bunnies. And like I say, they are going to be linked to my Amazon store. So make sure to go out and check these out. And they're very affordable. No one's stopping me now. I'm going to skip my breaks. I'm going to make mistakes. I just want to feel alive. Hey, the next item that you can find a lot of times at thrift stores and yard sales is going to be baskets. Usually they always have a whole section of baskets. Now my Goodwill had this little basket. It was 99 cents. This one was $1.99. But when I saw these, they, these were a good size and I could automatically see little carrots. 
So I'm going to show you real quick how we can make some more carrots out of some more thrift store yard sale finds, and that's doilies. Now, you can find doilies a lot of times at thrift stores or antique stores, you know, very inexpensive. Th that was a tea towel that I got at the thrift store. Now, I did a carrot video a couple of videos ago, and I'm going to link it at the end and also in my description box. So, I'm not going to go into great detail on how to make the carrots because I've already got a video on how to do it. But, when you do one with a doily, since doily's got some you know, it's got open areas on it. You can, you, you'll you be able to see the stuffing and the stuffing will come out of those little openings. You need to put a liner in it. So I just got some flower sack cloth. It's thin, kind of gauzy like. <clears throat> and I just glued to a layer of it on the inside so my dually will have a liner. And that's all you have to do. And doilies are, are good to make carrots out of because they usually always have like a scalloped, really pretty... Um, you know, scalloped edge, and just make that to be your top. So when you go to gather it at the top, you know, you've got that pretty scalloped lacy edge to it. Now, this was a trick that I learned to get the tail, the little bottom of the carrot out really good, is get some pliers and just work that little end out. But now you've got a nice little doily carrot. And like I say, doilies you can pick up. A lot of a lot of times these are at the thrift store, very inexpensive. You know, I just tied it off and I'm going to show you how also I'm going to make some, um, some carrot greens out of nautical rope. I took two strands of nautical rope and then I'm going to, I just folded them together. So now I've got four strands and then I got to comb and I frayed them. You want to unfray them and then comb them out and just make them really frayed looking and full. And then I'm just going to add a little hot glue to the end of them. And then you just want to stick them down into your carrot and then tie your carrot off. And that hot glue will kind of secure, you know, that nautical rope down in there so it won't move around. Now that's a carrot that I made out of a um, coffee stained flower sack cloth. Just giving you more ideas of what you can make carrots out of. Now another little embellishment I'm going to make for my basket of carrots is going to be some tags. Those were Dollar Tree. They come three to a pack. I just went over it with a... A layer of burnt umber craft paint then I went over with candle wax and I did a couple coats of chalk paint and I distressed it and now I'm going to use this little bunny sticker now I had a sweet viewer that sent me some bunny stickers and this one is one that's left over so I'm just going to tie that little tag now onto my basket and I'm going to you know decorate it and display it with my carrots I just made just to give you more inspiration and ideas of things that you can do with little inexpensive baskets that you may find out thrifting or at yard sales. drive a faster car i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else the next item is a fun one and this is something too that you can find a lot of times out thrifting and that's cutting boards and I have picked up several and I've done several videos on cutting boards this is a little mini cutting board that I picked up and I think I got it at a yard sale and I think I paid a quarter for it but I've been dying to do something to it so I just went over it with brown craft paint I chalk painted it I distressed it and I'm going to add a transfer to it. Now, this is out of the traditional pots transfer book. And I, that is all I did. And it was so easy. So now I've got a cute little piece. I can add it to my baskets. Or you can also add these really cute, you know, to a little tear tray decor piece. I'm going to skip my breaks. I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to skip my breaks. I'm going to make mistakes. Try not to hold me. The next item is going to be canisters. Now, y'all, you can find canisters all over the place, and most of the time, they're very inexpensive. But for my canister, I'm going to kind of show you more of a trash to treasure. Your paint cans. Y'all, paint cans now, they're not metal. Mine aren't. Mine were black up underneath it. So that's even better. That's a great base that we can distress after we paint them. 
So I went over them with some chalk paint. I think the, the final layer, I sprayed them with some chalk paint. And then all you do is go over them and just dress them. And that was all you do. And it gives them that chippy look. So now I'm going to take one of the farm animal IOD stamps. And I think this is a lamb. I think he's a lamb or a sheep. But anyway, I just added some black ink to him. And I'm going to apply him. And then right above him, I'm going to add in a little bit of French wording. I had, like I say, y'all know I use all my scraps for my transfers. And I love French wording. So I'm going to add a little bit to that. I'm going to add a bow to it add some lavender to him, and he'll make a great little French country piece. Now, out of the traditional pots book, there is a sheet of white transfers, and y'all, they are beautiful on black. So, that's all I had to do to this, this Rust-Oleum chalk paint can. When it was empty, I was going to throw it in the trash. All I did was take the, the label off of it, and that was all I did, and I put this transfer on it, and this turned out beautiful. All I'm going to do now is just add some really pretty florals to it, and these make very inexpensive trash to treasure pieces that you can use now and decorate in your home for spring and Easter, and you know, really any occasion you can put these out. a faster car i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else I'm okay y'all it is coming toward the end of the video thank y'all so much for coming over to my channel and if you are new from julie and sherry's channels thank you so much for coming over and i hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel make sure to go out and check out julie's channel and also sherry's channel and see the 10 ways that they are going to upcycle their easy to find thrift store items because i know they are both so creative and amazing at creating things so y'all make sure to go out check out their videos and their channels i'm going to have all the information to all the supplies I used in today's video and also to Sherry and Julie's channels in my description box and also in a pinned comment. As always, y'all, I love y'all and I will plan to see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.